right, so we're going to start with strings, okay? So let's close these two files down. All right. Let's say str.base. So, so like I said, I like to put uh, everything in the main function, so we'll do it that way. Okay, so let's declare a string. str. I am the man. Okay, so we'll just print that out. Print line, print ln, but print line str. So you know what we got. Okay, so let's bring this down here. All right, and so v str dot v str dot v, and we'll run it. That's slash str. You see, it'll print out I am the man. Okay, so we can also we can also uh, concatenate. Concatenate is to append two strings together. All right, so we'll do this in a print statement. Print line str plus equal or plus uh, let's say baby. It's from a song. I'm the man. I hope they don't pick me up for like don't, don't listen to my singing. Okay. All right, let's go. All right. So we'll see that I am the man baby, right? But because this, we could also use a a compound operator, but we'll let me just show you this. Okay. So what do you think is going to happen? It's not going to compile. Okay. And just to get back, see, it doesn't compile because it's not mutable. Okay. So let's go back and make this mutable. You do that by putting an MUT in front of it. Okay. Now there you go. I'm the man, baby. Okay. We'll take we'll take this out so it doesn't confuse you guys. okay so that's concatenating strings okay now if you want to check if a string contains a certain certain word okay so let, we'll do this inside of a print statement again okay so I can say str dot contains let's say we know it contains man we know because man is in I am the man okay so compile this all right you can see that it's true down there right all right so let's we'll put him okay and we know that the statement doesn't have him in it so it should return false and you see that it does return false there right okay so we did concatenating contains all right so now we're gonna do replace right okay so Let's do it inside of another print statement. You know, we'll delete this so it doesn't confuse you guys. But we'll keep that baby up there so that I can. Okay, so print line. Okay, str dot replace. Okay, and we'll replace baby. with I am the man okay let's say and you know it okay so let's see what happens here okay okay I'm the man and you know it there you go okay another thing you might want to do with strings is uh you need to know the length a lot of times okay so we'll do a print line and str dot len now this is a property this is not so there's no it's not a function we'll get into that later so just stay tuned and be patient and we'll get through all this
Okay, so you can see that this is 17 down here. And so there's 17 letters in this uh, statement. Okay. And then the last thing that, you know, you might want to do, or, you know, this is not the last thing, but one of the thing, another thing that's popular that you want to do is you might want to split it into an array. Arrays are our next topic, so we'll get more into that. Uh, so, you know what, let's declare another string. Okay, so str2, well, and we'll put Bob, we'll separate them with, um, with commas. Tom and we'll say Jim okay so Bob Tom and Jim wonderful all right so we'll put str2 dot split and we'll split it by a comma okay so and you see that it comes out an array well we'll talk about arrays in the next video now Anything you might want to do with strings, you can find it under modules and then under built in. And you got to go all the way down here because it's going to show you all the built in modules like bool, float, byte, and stuff over here. But you go all the way down here to string and you'll be able to find every function that you'll be able to use with um, you'll, you'll, every, you know, like you see this capitalized function right here clone that's gonna that's gonna come in handy uh, when you're when you're threading